How's everybody doing? Thank you. You've come so far since being that 19, 20-year-old kid that was drafted there at the end of the first round. And, you know, Kevin, Kevin and AVP have talked about your evolution as a player, but just what does it mean to you to, to be able to, to get the contract you did and, and you know, get that belief and faith? It means the world, you know. Um, uh, it's, I, I guess everything comes full circle, you know. Um, obviously, in the past, we've had our differences. And uh, to be able to sign a four-year deal, you know, here where it all started, just it means everything to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed to be here for the next four years. Your best football's ahead. And, you know, it's been injuries, you know, production maybe that. Do you feel the same in your best football's ahead? Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like the only way to go is up from here. Um, just keep stacking good days of hard work, you know, and perseverance. It the one turning point of you could pinpoint it that made you change your mind from wanting to be traded to want to uh, finish your career here? I'd say um, the time that I just decided just to, you know, ignore all the noise and just put my head on and work was when I, I realized that, you know, I do want to be here long term. And, um, you know, I just focused on more of like the positive things and the negative things. And, you know, through time, here we are, you know, so like I said, I'm very blessed. Do you have some sense that, um, that the amount of your contract touched off this enormous debate, it seems, you know, all over social media about whether or not uh, the Browns are overpaying you or whatever. Um, do you did you have some sense for that? And if so, does it surprise you that you know that people would be, you know, up in arms about that amount? Or how do you speak to that? It's actually my first time hearing that. You know, someone said they, they, the Browns overpaid me. I didn't I didn't hear that. So, I mean, yeah, my first time. It is what it is. You know, we uh, we agreed. You know, together, and I feel like we are gonna do great things in the near future. So, I'm excited. Um, a primary featured player offensively early in your career. The opportunities haven't, haven't been consistent. Um, are you expecting that now to change, that you're really going to get an opportunity to uh, become the player that you and the organization feels that you're going to, you know, red zone targets, third down targets, those type of things? Do you think now those opportunities are going to be there? Absolutely. I mean, honestly, Whatever our coaches tell me to do, I'll do, and I'll go 100% full speed at that. So, like I said, I'm just excited to be a, a part of this great team. That's become a real emphasis over the last couple of years, how you've really improved that. Just talk about that process over the last couple of years. I love blocking, man. I just honestly, I fell in love with it because at a point, it was all that I was really doing. So, you know, I had two options. I can either, you know, cry about it or just you know, slam people. So I chose to uh, block, yeah, and I, and I enjoy it now. The Hooper gone, uh, and there, there appears to be more emphasis on a three receiver look with one tight end. Do you think that creates better opportunities for you to pile up uh, bigger numbers and more, more plays? I think whatever our, our game plan is, you know, week in and week out, we execute and good things will happen. So whatever... Our game plan, our, our game plan is for that week. We have to, you know, go about it 100 percent, and I feel like it'll all work out. What was the um, off season like from your perspective with the franchise tag in used on you, and then, you know, continuing to work on the extension? How was the communication, and did you think this would all get worked out before that July 15th deadline? Yes, I think um, the communication for both parties were very smooth, and I think. Um, both did a great job, and you know we, we finally got this done um, sooner than later. You know this could have been done like next month, but we got it done now. So it's um it's just it it was a a great off season and a great day when when we finally finalized everything. Your quarterback room is completely different. What did you think about when those changes started happening, and what do you think about it now? Yeah, I mean it's tough, you know. Uh, I mean 
I think I know more than more than most that this is a business, you know, and um, you know, like it just at, at, at times it just it is what it is, and you got to just keep pushing and or keep going. So um, obviously, you know, Baker isn't here anymore, or he's not around, and you know, it's, I I I still talk to him, you know, here and there, but like we all understand that this is a business, and we have to just, you know, whoever we have right now, we have to keep going with them. So. Um, Deshaun makes quite an impression on the field. I'm just interested in what, what do you think about him off the field? What have, what have your interactions been with him to this point? I think he's a great guy. We had a, um, a team trip to the Bahamas, um, I believe, a week ago, and we, we got the work in. We also bonded as a team, you know, built some chemistry. I, I think it was a great um, choice for the offense to go together, you know. And, uh, you know, honestly, I, I, I learned things that I didn't know about my teammates that have already been here for X amount of years. So I think it was a, a great decision to, you know, as an offense, come together and go on a vacation for a few days and just get to know more about each other, you know, because at the end of the day, we're playing for each other. So I think that was important. I think uh, it was, it was a, a good idea. Kind of building off that, I know last year towards the end of the season, we heard from guys that they felt like the chemistry maybe could have been a little bit better, especially between offense and defense. Some of those things you're talking about, do you think you guys are on the, the right path with mm -hmm. that? A hundred percent. At least um, this was a great start. I think we're going to probably hang more more often, you know, just do whatever it is, either, you know, break bread together or just, you know, train in the off season, you know, after uh, mini camp together. It's like whatever it takes for us to get closer, you know, I think we'll play better together. Uh, the, the other names that you're now in that category with in terms of the top five paid tight ends in the NFL, the George Kittles, the Travis Kelseys, and maybe you can answer this part too. You're probably going to maybe tight end university again this summer. Are you going to the tight end university? I am, yeah. So do you, uh, you know, put yourself right there with those guys uh, in terms of your on-field ability as well as now that you're getting paid like them too? I mean, I don't, I don't really compare myself with, you know, anybody really. I like just to have like blinders on and just work on what I need to do to get better as a player. So, I mean, they're, they are the greats and, you know, I applaud them, but I'm not really like thinking of, you know, if I'm better than them or whatever. I'm just focused on what I got to do to um, help this team win you to practice with them over the summer at Titan University? Of course. Or I mean, uh, just like, you know, picking each other's minds, you know, brainstorming on how to get open on certain plays, certain routes. It, it all helps for sure. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm just focused on this team. For you as a player, as you continue to grow and, and evolve your game, what, what do you want to That's evolve? a great question. I guess, you know, we're going to find out this year. I mean, is there something that you've gone into this offseason that you talked about embracing the run blocking and, and really loving to do that. So, but is there something that you went into this off season and said, "Hey, I really want to get to the next level doing this"? It's everything, you know. I feel like I haven't perfected anything yet, and in all aspects of a tight end is what I I want to get better at. So.